Hello everyone, welcome to my vlog. So today's vlog, I would like to dedicate it and talk a little bit about the business side of headshot photography. I've been receiving a lot of requests to cover that topic. So I've decided I'm gonna try to kind of break this down into, I would say, smaller parts and I'm gonna discuss, you know, each of them separately. So you guys are gonna get, um, you know, entire, I would say, scope of information about you know particular side of my business and before i jump into today's actually topic i would like to say that there's many many different ways of of doing certain things when it comes to the business and i know everyone is different everyone is doing things different way so i just want to make sure that you guys are aware i'm going to share with you guys my ways of, of doing certain things so um, I just don't want to get, um, you know, get people upset and then, you know, get people kind of going after me because, you know, there's different ways of doing things and I didn't talk much about it. So I just want to make sure it's, it's clear. This is kind of the way I'm doing certain things. I just want to share them with you. So today's actually topic I would like to talk about it is I'm going to talk about choosing the final photos as well as you know sending the proofs to the client because again i've got a lot of requests to talk about it so that's why i, I want to start with this particular subject so when it comes to choosing the final photo so there's two kind of ways um one one of one of those things what you guys can do um is that you know you guys can pick the final photos and i would honestly prefer that but that's unfortunately doesn't work most of the time especially with the headshot photography i found the client most of the time they want to have final you know decision of which photos you know they want to choose and which photos they want me to edit it so i just want to make sure that you know you guys kind of aware of that that you know if, if client says well you know i want these pictures and you let's say well i don't like them much i like those ones um you have to somehow find the middle ground to you know kind of satisfy the client and also make sure that you know the stuff with going out they reflect your work and this is tough sometimes and i'm not gonna lie i have a lot of struggles with this but um you know the, the way i do those things i allow and i let the client choose the final photos and i can direct them i can talk to them and i can suggest them certain things but at the same time if they let's say they tell me they, they tell me that okay you know what this is the one which i really want this is the one i'm going to be um, editing and those ones they're going to get to the client so um, you have to make a decision also on that part because as I said there's different schools everyone kind of have different approach but I just want to say that you know over the many many years of shooting headshots I found this is the kind of the best way you know to deal with the clients because you know at the end of the day they're using those photos that's their photos and you know even again if they if if they not good in your opinion when it comes to face expression stuff usually they're technically they're all good but when it comes to the face expression this this is might be the only one kind of disagreement they have to make the uh, final decision so how I actually deal with this so basically after the shoot um, when everything is pretty much done I have to send them proofs for approval and you know images which they can kind of choose from and so today I'm going to show you how I actually create those proofs and that's gonna I'm gonna be showing you guys this whole thing in a minute so I will show you my entire process how I create them um, and you know there's again there's different ways of doing that I know there's for example websites where you can upload those images and and, and, and let the client choose what they want and stuff like that um, I actually pick much easier way basically the way I'm doing it um, I'm creating the contact sheets where they can actually just go through it and they can kind of pick the final images and they're gonna basically give me the numbers of those images and they're gonna basically gonna get edited so again this is really simple way and I'm using a bridge and I'm gonna again show you in a second how I'm doing it but the main reason I'm doing this and that's something which in my opinion is extremely valuable 
is quick. Um, you know, I can send them through email. They can watch those images on the computer or on their phone. And, you know, as I said before, there's there, I used to use website, but the problem what I had with website was that, you know, there was a passwords, they, they have to actually go to different applications to kind of, um, you know, kind of go to that site. So for example, if they were checking their uh, proofs on their cell phone, you know, they have to go to different app and then, you know, put the passwords and logins and all this stuff. And, and I found this was, I'm not maybe complicated, but you know, time is the money nowadays and everyone is looking for convenience. Everyone is looking to see things quickly. Um, they want to get access right away and they don't need passwords and all this stuff because sometimes, you know, it's just, just more work for them to do. So that's was the main reason I've changed that over the last few years, I would say, where I'm sending email with um, contact sheets and proofs on, on those sheets so people can kind of again look at them um, right away and they can decide it which images um, they want to use. Okay, so let's jump into uh, the bridge and Photoshop and I'll show you exactly how I create. Okay, so now I'm in Adobe Bridge and um, so before I send those shots to my client, of course, I have to go through them. And basically what I'm doing is I'm deleting everything which is not usable. Like my clients, they're not going to get anything which is, you know, unusable or something where, you know, the person has eyes closed or the face expressions are bad or, um, you know, let's say there is some images which are they're not sharp or you know there's there's a lot of lot of you know garbage which we have you know throughout a shoot so everything is deleted so my clients they don't get anything which is really really bad or not useful um, another thing what I want to also mention which is extremely important is to make sure that you know you sending only the best of the best so you know you're not going to be sending images to the client where you know you're not really sure about it or images which you know you don't want to edit so this is kind of hard part because you have to select you know those things and it's a little bit of work to to get that done but as soon as you kind of figure this whole thing thing out and then you have images which you know they're they're top notch and you know whatever the client choose is is you know is is, is good in your opinion that's the, the images which you want to send so how i'm going to create this contact sheet which is easy to send you know it's something also where people are going to be able to you know kind of use it um i also don't use retouched images you know the the, the retouching part comes after when the client received them choose the final ones for the editing and usually what i say to them and this is extremely also important to whenever they're choosing those photos they have to only look for the face expression and i always tell them that whenever um you know they see some stuff you know let's say you know some hair which is kind of i don't know flying all over or there is some you know stuff which can be retouched this whole thing will be done so that, you know I'm, I'm basically asking them to don't pay attention to those things just to focus on the face expressions and um you know the images which really kind of catch their eye and you know they, they they like something about it so there's a lot of i would say explanations before but uh, you know, the client has to be also aware what, you know, how they can deal with, you know, choosing their final pictures and what they can do. Okay, so I, in this case, I already um, went for those pictures and I already, um, well, re like re deleted everything which was bad. And this is basically um, 84 images, which I think they're the best from the shoot. And I'm going to basically right now create a contact sheet and I'm going to send them to the client. So how I'm going to do it, basically, you're just clicking one image and then you're clicking common and aid. So you select all of them. Then you go to tools, go to Photoshop, go to contact sheet two, and then you will get um, a little um, information box and basically tells you about um, you know how this document will be created so will be um, 8 by 10 sheet 
um, with the resolution of 300 and I think this is this is right um, columns there will be five will be six rows five images per column so you can also decide that you know how do you want to kind of make this look so you can play with this a little bit I found this selection is actually on the default so um, it seems like they knew what they're doing and um, yeah they, they've done this um, really well and then basically you um, click OK and the Photoshop will start creating those um, contact sheets. It takes a little bit of time so I can yap a little bit to you guys about it so you don't have to worry about um, you know kind of taking those shots you know one by one and putting on the sheet or you know kind of doing all those crazy stuff you know and things which are really time consuming you can definitely kind of go this path and I found is the easiest way the easiest way the quicker way um, and it's fairly I would say quick process that you know still takes a little bit of time but um, I found that you know basically that's the kind of the easiest way that we don't have to put anything um, you know we don't have to put any work the Photoshop um, will do everything for us okay so let me put this whole thing on um, the speed a little bit so we'll kind of go straight to um, the final um, you know uh, contact sheet and you guys will see how this whole thing look like okay so Photoshop created those three sheets um, and basically we are going to save them as a JPEGs and to make them look more professional um, I will do a couple more things here so on the last sheet usually what I'm trying to do I'm gonna add my um, logo to um, this this contact sheet so it's pretty simple and basically I'm gonna With all my informations even though you know the clients they know how to contact me I, I found this look more professional and the next step is we are going to save them on the desktop and then I will show you how I'm gonna create the PDF file to um, you know make this like a one file so right now this whole thing would be saved as a PSD file so we're gonna go to JPEG uh, we're gonna go to desktop we're gonna save it okay we're gonna close it number two it's a pretty quick process JPEG desktop save it Okay, and number three, JPEG, save, okay. Okay, so the next step is I'm gonna take those three files and basically you guys can use any, um, any program which can create PDF files so in this case I'm working on the Mac so I'm gonna go to preview or I think another program which you can use is um, it's Adobe Reader which can create those files okay so now we, we can kind of um, make them in the right order so this is file number one file number two and file number three so the same thing we're gonna click command and A so we're gonna just take those three files into um, account then we're gonna go to we can do this kind of set two separate ways we can export as a PDF and in this case her name was Irina 
JPEG. Use PDF. And basically we have a PDF file. And let's open that PDF file. So Adobe Reader will open it. So basically, right now we have the PDF file, which will be sent to um, the client. So again, it's a pretty straightforward process. Um, I hope you guys um, learned something like this. As I said, there's different ways of doing things. I found this is the quickest one. The Photoshop will do everything for you. It will create, um, you know, specific file for you so you guys can really quickly uh, send that off to, to your client and basically take it from there. So time is everything nowadays. Um, and, and again, I'm trying to do everything what I can as quick as possible. So those files can get straight to the client and they can kind of pick the images for the retouching and um, the rest of the stuff I'm going to be talking um, in my next vlog. I hope you liked the video. I hope that was something which give you some new options maybe to uh, deal with your clients and then basically send them the proofs for the approval and you know basically so they can choose the final images for the editing. Um, if you guys have any other ways to do that or something which I could improve, I would definitely would like to hear from you. So maybe I can actually add something new to, to my workflow. So uh, again, I hope that was interesting. I'll be looking forward to hear from you guys. Um, stay in touch and um, I'll chat with you guys very soon. Bye bye.